Hello, welcome to this online MOOC on the principles of modern CDMA, MIMO and OFDM wireless communication systems. I am Professor Aditya Jagannatham from the Indian Institute of Technology at Kanpur. Uh, so to understand the content and motivate the content of this course better, let us start by looking at a brief history of wireless evolution. So we have the 2G wireless communication systems such as GSM and IS-95 based CDMA or code division multiple access systems which have a modest data rate of about 10 kilobits per second support your basic voice call kind of traffic. And this subsequently led rise to the development of advanced technologies such as GPRS and Edge which led to a slight increase in data rate up to about 50 to 200 kilobits per second supporting not only voice but also uh, low data rate based internet and email access uh, sort of applications. And subsequent to this there has been an explosion of sort of sorts in the wireless data rates such as the 3G beginning with the 3G WCDMA wireless system such as R99 which support up to hundreds of kilobits per second followed by the HSDPA and HSUPA systems which have support tens of megabits per second and now we are looking at LTE which supports data rates about 100 to 200 megabits per second and soon we are going to probably look at even LT advanced which can support data rates up to a, a gigabit per second, right. And uh, so and what is the result of this as a result of this now we have a rich uh, wireless ecosystem which can support various applications such as not just voice calls but video telephony, video streaming, online gaming, mobile TV that is true wireless broadband access. And how has this been possible? This has been possible through the development of breakthrough wireless technologies. Wireless technologies such as wideband CDMA which is based on CDMA or code division for multiple access where you assign an orthogonal code to each user to transmit his data. Also has been made possible by other technologies such as smart antenna systems where you have multiple antennas at the transmitter or receiver to better, better enable channel the energy from the transmitter to the receiver and enhance the signal to noise pass, sign, enhance the signal quality at the receiver. Also we have multiple input, multiple output or MIMO systems which have multiple antennas at the transmitter and receiver which basically convert or enable the transmission of multiple information streams in parallel over the wireless channel, a feature which is termed as spatial multiplexing. And another important breakthrough technology is OFDM which is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing which converts a wide band, uh, an intractable wide band wireless channel into a set of parallel narrow band channels so that uh, you can transmit multiple streams of information in parallel. So all these technologies, so what is the aim of this course? The aim of this course is to take an in depth look at all these enabling 3G and 4G wireless technology which have in fact made 3G, 4G wireless communication possible such as CDMA, MIMO, OFDM to understand these technologies beginning with the fundamentals and also conducting a thorough performance analysis of these different wireless communication technologies. And uh, who this, to who, whom this course is intended for? It is intended for engineering, science and management students who are looking into understanding more about the current 3G, 4G wireless technologies. Both undergraduate and postgraduate students should find this course suitable. And also there are some prerequisites, although they are not very stringent, some mild prerequisites will help you understand, better understand or appreciate the content of this course. These are fundamental aspects of probability, random variables, random processes, some linear algebra comfort at mathematical analysis and also some basics of digital modulation schemes such as BPSK, binary phase shift key, QPSK, quadrature phase shift key and so on, alright. So these are some of the prerequisites uh, to understand this course on the basics of or on the enabling technologies of 3G that is the third generation and 4G that is the fourth generation uh, wireless communication systems. Uh, so hope you enjoy the material in this course, looking forward. Um, to introducing you to the material in this course. Thank you very much.